hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. And let's get to it. Y'all, if things are not heating up in the industry, I don't know what is, okay? When I tell y'all 2024 is going to be very interesting on everybody's bones coming out the closet in the celebrity world, <laughs> y'all, it is going down, okay? 50 Cent have been running around here laughing his tail off at Puffy, okay, y'all? And he ain't no different. He probably ain't been throwing no parties that we know of, okay? But do he treat his artists the same way Puffy treated his artists? Yes. He treated his artists like crap, just like Puffy. So um, is there going to be a surviving 50 cent is my question, okay, y'all? Um, I told y'all he lost brownie points for me, you know, um, the fact that he get on social media and he's so petty, that's the part that gets me. But the thing that's on top of that is when he did that documentary on Mo3 and he cut out all the truth that was supposed to be, you know, what really happened to Mo3. And he put all the lies in there. The cover-up lies, okay? He put all of that in the documentary so that if anybody, if it went to court and everything, anybody saw the documentary, this would affect you know, what they're saying on the stand, you know, it would affect the case because people would be, remember this documentary, which was a whole lie. Okay, y'all. Um, I lost so much respect for this guy. Not that I had much for him in the first place, but he's no different than Puffy. Outside of all of the, uh, the Rex allegations, this guy treats people just like Puffy. He did not want any of his artists to make money after, you know, they signed with him. They signed deals with him. And even if they were starving or whatever, and they start trying to make a put up a new song on YouTube or whatever, he would shut them down so that they would not make no money. So this guy is, I'm just saying, he's, he's cutthroat too when it comes to his artists. He don't want to see them, you know, win. He didn't. He made money off of them, but he didn't want them to make money off of their own self. And I just, just lost so, so I, I just have not ever really been feeling 50 cent like that. Okay, y'all. But um, anyway, there's some serious stuff for brewing. Is there going to be, y'all, a surviving 50 cent? That's my question. And y'all let me know in the comment section. Is there going to be people coming forth on 50 cent suing him, you know, for some other things. Is his artist going to take a stand against him as well? Because this guy does his artist just like Puffy. So I don't know how you can laugh at somebody else when you're in the same boat. I, do, I don't get it. But anyway, y'all, there's some different type of lawsuits coming to his way right now. Word on the street is 50 Cent stole that whole Power franchise series idea from the real ghost. There's a real ghost out here, y'all. <laughs> that sounds funny saying that, y'all. But the guy that played Ghost on Power, y'all, this was a real live person. And he stole all of this man's life and put it on wax. And um, he put it on paper. And he passed it to some producers and they made that show Power. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. And and word on the street is they he did the same thing for that Meech show, Lil Meech. But only thing about it, when he did the Lil Meech show, he got permission to use his lifestyle on, you know, put his lifestyle and his history of his life, you know, on the TV series. He got permission. So he's paying this guy, Lil Meech, for the, you know, put that show out. But this show right here, he stole this one from you know, somebody from the hood that he knew in the hood, y'all. And this guy was somebody that was well known in the hood, okay? Not only him, but his father as well. So, y'all, this stuff is sad that, you know, these celebrities think they could do anything they want to people. Seriously. 
Maybe he didn't mess with Lil Meech because Lil Meech maybe got some people that, are, you know, I'm just saying, y'all be a little peed off about it. He, or he just maybe showed, you know, more respect to Lil Meech and him and all of that to make sure that they got, you know, paid off of the whole situation. But this guy that was from the hood, that was a neighborhood, you know, street pharmacist person. And um, I guess he felt like he could just do anything he want with him and get him out the way. So where right on the street is, y'all. 50 Cent tried to d get the case dismissed in court. And he lost the bid. The judge was like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. So now it's coming out that um, 50 Cent is being sued by Ghost. <laughs> that sounds funny saying that, but he is. He's being sued by Ghost. And 50 Cent, the series, stars, all of these people... You know, that did the contract for um, 50 Cent for, to you know, to have the rights to put the series out. They paid 50 Cent $150 million. And the tripped out part about this whole situation is this lawsuit is more than $150 million. So they could lose, y'all. And y'all know there's a, it's a lot of seasons. Everybody be waiting on Papa to come back, okay? Um... This is what they're saying. I'm going to read this to y'all real quick. Uh, 50 Cent has lost his bid to have a lawsuit dismissed, which accuses him of hiring a hitter to take out the former street association, Lord Ghost, y'all. His name is Corey Ghost Holland. This was really his real nickname in the hood. According to court documents obtained by, you know, social media outlets, Judge Anna Annalisa, Torres rejected the rapper's motion to have the lawsuit dismissed before Christmas on December the 19th. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get when you're running around here doing dirt. Um, a ghost filed a $1 billion lawsuit earlier this year alleging that 50 stole the idea for his hit series Power from him and attempted to have him taken out. So once he tried to, you know, let me holler at you because you, you, you got my life all over, you know, the big screen. So let's, let's talk about, come to some kind of compromise. And 50 Cent was like, oh, I ain't about to break bread with you. I break bread with little Meech now, but I ain't about to break bread with you too. So word on the street is 50 Cent trying to have this guy taken out. He hired a hitter, y'all. So not only... Could um he lose this lawsuit, but he actually could go to jail if, you know, there's concrete information that come out about a hitter or this hitter is found or come forth or whatever, whatever, whatever. Y'all, 50 Cent is facing some jail time, to be honest. So uh, I don't understand why these celebrities get out here and do the dirt that they doing and think that they can just walk away from it or take you out when they don't want, you know, they they want to hush you up when they didn't did you wrong. This don't make no sense. They said Ghost also sued power creator Courtney Kemp and alleges that he was friends with her father. So um, not only is 50 Cent, you know, connected to this guy from the hood, but this, you know, Courtney Kemp was friends with, you know, they got they got ties with his family. Y'all, they said, he said over 200 scenes from the show are based on his life. Y'all, if this ain't a slam dunk lawsuit, I don't know what it is. It's over with. He's about to lose a lot of money. And if you go look up 50 cents network and his network is only 45 million, how in the world is he going to come out on top from this? He is going to be in the minus, y'all. I'm just saying. Ghost has also accused 50 Cent of attempting to intimidate him and have him taken out, y'all. So, while he laughing at Puffy, his dirt is coming out now, y'all, okay? And there could possibly be a surviving 50 Cent as well, okay, y'all? In the filing earlier this year, the real ghost claimed it's 50 Cent's abilities to hire a hitter Due to a hundred and fifty million dollar contract he secured through Stars and Liongate, these are this is the channel that it was on and stuff. And Liongate, they all is involved in the whole Power series that have created.
the, the fear and constant anxiety. So he's saying that he's scared for his life right now because 50 Cent made $150 million off of his name and his family name. And now he's scared because 50 Cent tried to hire a hitter to take him out, y'all. Y'all, if they ain't coming for these celebrities and they dirt, they bones ain't coming out, flying out of the closet. I don't know what it is, y'all. 2024 is about to be, man, the year of lawsuits and, and all kind of stuff and, and everybody going to jail and all kind of stuff, okay? Sued up the yin-yang. Um, how is a lot of these celebrities going to survive 2024? With all those accusations that's coming out against them. Y'all, I don't I, I don't know what to do. I, it, is we going to be able to keep up? Seriously. Um, he also added that the hitman that 50 Cent hired can take him out and his family at any time and anywhere once they are paid. He says, so rather 50 Cent is in New York or Michigan or anywhere in America or overseas, once he pays the homies to do what they do best, Quoting the defendant from the radio interview, the job can get done at any point in time after that. Y'all see this? I was just talking about this with Beyonce. Every time some stuff go down, she's out the country away from it. So they figure it can't come back to them. But, oh, yes, it can. Oh, yes, it can. When y'all out here doing dirt, it's going to come back eventually. Um, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. He also criticized 50 social media trolling. He callously targets people on social media for one purpose, their humiliation and his gain. This is what he did to DJ Kali, Shanika Tompkins, Megan the Stallion, and countless others. He thought I was going to be his latest victim, but I fought back. It's the only way you can deal with a bully. <laughs> okay. Um, I told y'all these celebrities, they dirt is they their bones is flying out of that closet, okay? It's as if somebody is in there throwing them bones out the closet, okay? So Ghost, who is a former street association dealer, has maintained that he believes he and his family are in danger. We now live in fear every single second of the day of these unknown and unidentifiable hitters showing up at any time anywhere to carry out 50 cents orders to intimidate or to take them out to eliminate the legal consequences of the lawsuits brought against him so if 50 cent takes him out then who's left to you know i'm just saying y'all and and like this guy said if somebody takes him out the family they're gonna be scared to go forward and, and keep the lawsuit going because he, he just gotta take it out. You know what I'm saying? So he's saying that him and his whole family is in danger right now because of 50 Cent and his status and his money and how much money he got paid. And he's coming for his. He is coming for his now, y'all. And to be honest, if he wins, um 50 Cent is going to be bankrupt, y'all. He is. The weapons that we now are armed with are due to the fear of being a victim of violence at any moment by these hired goons. We have no idea when the violence is coming. Just prepare for when it does. However, 50 Cent has the advantage because he controls what the hitmen do. The contract is between him and them. So all we can do is anticipate the ine inevitable every single second of the day. 50 Cent has denied the claims within the lawsuit and through the, his lawyer called it an abuse of judicial system. It says power debuted in 2014 and ran until 2020. So six year reign that power came. And then they still have shows that branch off from it because now we have power book two. You know, um, y'all, to me, it's a slam dunk. It says it followed a street association named Ghost as he attempts to go straight. And this is what this guy whole life was about. So y'all tell me in the comment section, was this, is this a slam dunk case? Because I think it is. I think it is over. Okay, y'all? It is over for this lawsuit. Not only is he going to win this lawsuit against Puffy, but he's going to win from stars and everybody else that's connected. The creators of it, all of that. Everybody got to pay this man some money now. And everybody is about to turn on 
50 Cent because 50 Cent is the one that brought them this story in the first place. And he know he stole this from somebody's life. For 50 Cent to not know that this was going to come back and nip him in the butt, I, that was kind of noop and stay right there. This lets you know 50 Cent got a couple screws missing. That he didn't think that this was going to come back. That this man wasn't going to say, man, you are. But maybe he thought that his sending hitters allegedly at this guy would just, you know, make this all go away. And he'll just keep that $150 million that he made off of power. And he ain't got to break bread with the person that it's really about. But y'all, look how these artists, dirt is backfiring on them. One at a time. Everybody's dirt is coming out the closet. And you would think that right now people wouldn't keep doing stuff like Beyonce and Jay Z now. Tanner, I'm just saying, y'all allegedly, okay, playing a part with this whole little house fire, okay, y'all. Um, look how they're still out here doing dirt just to stay irrelevant. And all of these people are going down around them, and they still looking like that they playing a part in certain things to keep their name out here too. It just don't make sense, y'all. It don't. But anyway, y'all stay tuned and let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Is there going to be a surviving 50 cent? <laughs> y'all, I can't make this up. I can't, I can't, you can't make it up. This is so sad on so many levels that this is where we are right now. They got in these positions to make money and instead of grabbing somebody else's hand and helping them, they only wanted to be there by themselves. If they sign artists, they dogged them out and everything. You try to cover up for other people that's out here putting hits on people. And now your stuff is coming out the closet. I'm glad. I'm glad the stuff coming out. Because, you know, you try to cover up Trap Boy Freddy and them and, you know, Yellow Beezy and them stuff with Mo3. And now all your stuff is coming out. Do y'all see how this spiritual warfare is not playing out here? That everybody is getting their little dirt coming right back to them. It, it, it's i love it i love it y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments section please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching y'all peace